Okay. <clears throat> what do you got over there now? You got a piece of crap you brought over here for me to work on? The caliper. I'm going to put on that swing arm. To you, Cole? Is that, uh, is that come off your Honda? I think it was off Ducati. No, Kawasaki. Suzuki. Suzuki. GSXR. How about Yamaha? You missed one. Then you got these things. Dowels will hold it in place. Oh, those are custom. Let's see, see this one. It's cost custom this one is. Oh, I was looking at this piece of crap laying down in there. I think you got something that's, stuck that's, in that's your pad. Keeper. I think you got something stuck in your pads. It is. Yeah, it looks pretty precision. How's, how's that going to work in that crappy bracket we got over here? Now, you want to know what I did to it? I fixed it while you were gone. I see that. So I honed the back side. Mm -hmm. I got almost the scratches out. And then somehow it accidentally got flat on this side. How did you do that? See, you put a mark in it already. And then I it, 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 it accidentally got a special uh, pattern on there for you. For your nice. Race, for your racing. Fancy looking. For your racing. And then somehow that surface got squared up here too. You did those too? So now it uh, works correctly. Did you end up bolting it to something? No, I just, you have to watch videos. Oh. Now, you going to put that piece of crap on my nice bracket here? Yeah. And how are you going to do that? Is it even the right bolt pattern? Yeah, the bolt pattern's right. You sure? Yeah. You sure about that? It is. Okay, so I would say that these aren't going to work because there's no dowel pins in these. Right. So you can't go without them, can I? Well, I could do all kinds of stuff if I wanted to do it, but this is your bike, not mine. <clears throat> Why don't you get a bra of caliper that's made to go in your bracket or a bracket well, made to go in your caliper? Well, they have to have something like this, don't they? Well, I don't know where you got that piece of crap from. Well, this is what the guys recommend to buy this brand of, of calipers fit that bracket. But it doesn't have some machine. Why didn't they make the bracket to take that caliper then? Right. Now, obviously, they were someone's. Well, going by the quality of what I saw already, that makes perfect sense. Part of the course. Yeah, it works perfect sense why they have that piece of crap made that way. Yeah. Now, you notice how if you put that dowel pin there, you're going to be right through the side of the caliper here? Be right through what? Right through the side of the bracket. Outside that line. Mm -hmm. See how there's no room? Because of this. Yeah. Well, you're going to be through it. And see, you have no support because that's round and this is the. Now you're really popping my bubble now. They, they put this so. fancy ass stupid edge on here like this. And if you end up making a whole new one, huh? Well, I already don't want to make a new one. I already had to fix this pile of crap already. So what kind of height do we need? <sighs> do you even get that far yet? On this? Yeah, what kind of brake are you going to put on this thing? What diameter? Uh, 13 8. Does this clear a 13 8? Supposedly. Well, supposedly this was made right too, but we already know that was wrong. Yeah. Supposedly that was going to fit on this. Well, we I know, know that uh, doesn't. On a, the stock Harley one is too tall. This thing is too tall when I put it on there. I just got some that, man. Mm -hmm. So you're going to put a 14 inch diameter brake on the back of a stupid bike that's just going to lock up a tire? That makes perfect a 10, sense. I want a 10 inch one on it, it would be nice. Oh, let's put a 10 inch on there. I don't know why you're putting this crap on there anyway. Okay, what's your diameter from the top of your rotor here down to the center line? I don't know. Well, you got a darn tool right there. It goes like a foot. Doesn't have a pigtail coming out the back? That does. Why did you move it on me? That's how you get straight. Why head it straight? Okay, so how do you do it? It's one way of doing it. Squeak, 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 squeak. You lubricate your rat later? I haven't later. Okay. How do we measure that? Well, you put that up to the top of wherever your caliper is going to be, your rotor. So the rotor goes inside of here, not here. So how far does it go to? So what's going to hit first, that gold piece of crap there or that black piece of crap over here? That changes depending on what your rotor diameter is. Okay, so I'm going to hold it. Put your chinga bill here at the center until you hit something all the way in there. Okay, and then just put that in the center of the hole right there. Just kind of get rough centered, doesn't have to be perfect. How's that looking? Well, I don't know, you're looking at it. It's pretty good to me. Okay, what well, now? What do you got? 5.8003. Where's 5 at? Eight oh. Right here. Five. Eight. Eight. Oh, three. I just, I was running off to five, eight. Uh, that, yeah, and, then, matter. and then you can take a, probably another hundred off this because you were bottom out in there. So how would you do that? Double that to get your, your rotor? Uh, That'd be a good way of doing it. That would be ten. What's five, eight twice? Eleven, six. Minus a hundred. Eleven, nine, five. Nine, eleven, nine, nine. Eleven, nine, nine. Let's see, 11980, right? What's the stock one? On what? 
Harley. Eleven and a half is normal. Yeah, I think they're gonna, that's the eleven eight, not thirteen eight. Those new touring, the new touring turd bikes are uh, they're just under twelve. Eleven eight was a, was the a diameter of the. Of the uh, Probably a touring turd rotor. Rotor. You don't have to run those. You can run anything you want. All right. Well, that's the piece of shit. Custom. <laughs> Custom. So, if you took this and cut this uh, caliper down. Here, you could hardly want to, can't go very much on it though. You could put a shorter rotor on it. I already have that the rotor that would fit that shorter one too. But it's almost you only have like a little tiny bit. A little tiny bit of what? To cut. For what? Oh, yeah. It's curved. That, that, that whole thing to play with? What are you going to hit? I got a whole finger in here. There's got to be some aluminum in there somewhere with an the, the O-ring on it, isn't there? I got a whole fucking finger in here. What are you, gonna, what are you trying to clear? You want to lower this down to here to make the first lower caliper. What am I going to hit? Well, you're really not going to hit, huh? What about the backside? What am I no, going to hit? You got a big else. air gap yeah, in right, here. You're what right. am I going to hit? Yeah. I know what the hell your problem is at. <clears throat> just just hit my ass. See how wide this is? Yeah. What's it going to hit? Nothing. So that would work. So we cut it down to about 10.5, right? Or Otherwise, you got to cut this out and put it out. Uh, you got to put a dowel pin in there and then. Ideally, you should cut that thing all the way down until it touches that. That's what you should do. And then put your dowel in it. Then it would center. Assuming anything is square on this damn project, which I have my doubts about. But I already cut this damn thing. Let me recut it now. That's more work. Have more money? You ain't got no money. What about all this fucking jack shit here? I know you got no money now. <laughs> You got your stupid rotor you want to use. Where's your rotor at? Bring it with you. What about that part? No, I didn't bring my rotor. I don't care about that part. I'm working on this part. I don't have the tall one yet. You just said you had a rotor. No, I said that you they, lying they to me. Are you they, lying to they me? They recommended it. Where's your rotor eight. you're going to use? It's still at the shop. What shop? I haven't bought one yet. I could put the stock one back on. I'd be happy with the stock one. Well, how big's the stock one? Is the 11.5. Okay, put it on there. Where's it at? It's at home. I didn't bring it. What, what are we supposed to do around here? One thing I don't have with me. You don't want to bring anything. You got, I know you got, you got all kinds of crap around here. You think I have rotors just laying around anywhere? Oh, what the hell do you think this is around here? In the brake department. Jeez. Got one on my bike over here, but I didn't want to get rid of it. All right, where's your wheel? Where's your axle? Where's your hub? Where's your rotor? That's the, that's the right side of the rotor right there. Where's your rotor? Got home. Here, grab this. I'm getting tired. You gotta do everything around here. You didn't clean these chips up. You get an asshole? I have an asshole, yes. I don't have no bolts for that. Bolt for what? Well, it's probably metric. I ain't got no metric crap. That's Where's not, your spacer at? Not, not Put metric. your thing down there. Oh, you lost my spacer. Oh, you got it dirty. That's it, you're fired. Okay, lay it over here next to my workbench. That's why it's here. Okay, where's your brake? <sighs> Drop that thing down there. I'm gonna go in here. Huh? Okay, see what it's hitting on? It's hitting the, the keeper, probably. Where's yeah. the brake pads at? What kind of brake pads are even in this damn thing? Big ass square ones. Exactly ones. Hard as hell. Get that thing out of my way. What are you trying to do here? Why do you have to go the hard way doing this? Okay, there's your pad way out of the hell up here. Okay, so that sits about there. I'm not sure how far it goes in there, but about there is about where it sits. Okay, now bring your rotor thing around. Pull it out a little bit. Pull it out. Bring it back around. Slide it in. See how that works? Pretty slick, huh? Yeah, that really wanted it to be earlier. Okay, see what happens if you cut that thing flush? Yeah. Guess what's going to happen? It's going to fit. Everything's going to kind of work better. See how we figured that out already? Right now, it's not hitting, huh? No, I lifted it up off the top. Mm -hmm. The pads are still on the rotor over there, see? Okay, so see how that works? Yeah. So once again, designed wrong. I'm making redo work again. I already just got done doing. Uh, 
what diameter is that rotor on the bike? This one's the one of the 11 eighths, isn't it? I don't know, did you measure it? I didn't measure it. Well, how do you know what size it is? Going from what Harley design. How big is that? We'll find out in a minute here. Does this thing go 12? I don't know what it goes to. The streets a lot going. Put some oil on it. It's not too exact, I don't care. What number is it at? 11.5. Okay, so I'm thinking it might be 11.5. Okay. You know why I think it's 11.5? It's a Harley one? Because it's 99 in an earlier wheel. Oh. Because it came off a 99 bike. Okay. That being said. So if you take this piece of crap and cut this thing flush, so you got more surface area. Yeah. Assuming it even goes in, clears all this crap. It should clear all that shit. Then you have a flat surface when you put your dowel in there. Right. You'll have an actual area for it to pull against. So that'll give you support. And then you can run a standard brake rotor, not these stupid fancy ones that nobody seems to have. Now right. if you want to space it up for a bigger rotor, then you leave it up high. And then you have yeah, nothing. Much. Then you don't have any bolt on. The yeah. next problem is, is where's your bolts at for your offset? For offset. Yeah, this way. So line up your holes. There's the holes out. Right there. Okay, where are we at? Are we in the middle or too far in or out? Where are we at? It looks pretty good to me. Oh, it's not very straight. But... Let me see if you got a, a couple of bolts going. It don't have that. to be straight. So hardly. Now you want hardware now? You want everything. Just because I don't trust my eyes. Is this metric or American? This should be a metric. I mean American. How about right up there? A whole bunch of bolts. Where? Right there. You got any three eighths up there? Three three inch core sitting there. Too small. No, it'd be cold. No. I think this one's tall enough. But those will be. You think these are tall enough? Yep. Do these fit in there? Yeah. Are these three eighths? These are three eighths holes. Drill holes right here. You sure? Yep. Look at that. See that American thread? Appears to go. Appears to be American components. Guess what? When it's American, you got American parts fit on it. Look at that. That's pretty damn snazzy there. Went right in. No, no extra work needed on it. Jeez, now is that going to fit in there? Fit, no, I'm going to tires in the way now. She got to cut a hole in the tire now. Look at that. Okay, offset you're talking about what? Does it clear the wheel right now? When you pull the hub down square. Push the axle in all the way. Push it flat. Center it. Is it dragging on the wheel? Or does it seem like it's centered? It ain't in the center of the caliper, but. Right. Caliper needs to go what? Out? Okay, out we can do easy with the spacer down below. Both sides push on this thing, right? Mm -hmm. All four pistons. Should be. Yeah, about half the thickness of the, uh, the rotor. Okay. So what's your diameter right now? What's the diameter? Mm-hmm. 11.5. No. On the whole thing? You're higher up right now. Huh? You're higher up right now, remember? With this. Mm-hmm. After we cut it, you'll be at 11.5, but... Right now it's 11.8. I don't know. He said what he said on the phone to me, that 11.8 rotor would work. Well, With he the... obviously knew what he was talking about. He made a nice bracket. So what do you want to do? Fix it. Okay, no shit. What do you want me to do? You want me 11.5 or you want 11.8? 11 11.5. 11 okay, so you got to cut the bracket again. I don't, to, I don't want to buy no rotor then. You don't want to have to buy a rotor? You want to be cheap, huh? Okay. Take this out? Uh, if you want me to work on it, yeah. Good thing I had a junk sports to wheel laying around here for you. Nice wheel too. I was gonna see if you want to trade it for one of mine. Trade it for that Japanese fucking pile of crap you bought. <laughs> Just trying to make me take that I don't want. Alright. 
As I recall, I already just got done doing all the same work over here earlier. This time I'm going to turn around this way so I can see. All right. We need a couple of blocks that are flat and long. I'm thinking something maybe. Yeah, I think those are flat and long. Well, these are flat and long. There's one. There you go. If you drop this, it'll go right through your foot. Okay. I'll try not to do that. Is that clean, huh? It's heavy and sharp. Too long. Make sure I can move it all the way over because I can push right on these now. See how it's bent? No, I didn't, but flip it over. How did it get bent? Somebody might have accidentally torqued it down too much. Tightened it down, yeah. I don't know who in the hell would do that around here, but somebody. Okay, is that straight? Looks straight to me. Yeah, but you're blind. That's right. In one eye, I can't see all the other one. Let me put my straight edge on here, and I'm pretty sure it's not straight. Yeah. Going by that step thing on there, I don't think it's straight. I'll rough that in a little bit. I just got done putting all the stuff away. Nice bit. Not a bit. That's what, a bit. What is it? That's an end mill. End mill? Yep. What'd you say is a bit? These are bits. Oh. Tool bit. An end mill. End mill. Tool bit. End mill. Bits don't move, end mills rotate. Thought you do that. I do now. We're installing the old kit. What's that called? Dial indicator? Dial indicator, yep. How much? Five thousand? Yep.
Passer boy. Three. Tap four. Like about seven tenths, seven thousandths. Seven thousandths. I couldn't see the numbers real good though. We're on the five. That's five right there. We're on the five. I thought it was minus five though. Hey, where's the zero at? Who cares? Who cares? What number are we on Should right now? Five. Less than one. We're on five. Less than one thousand. Why yeah. doesn't it go to zero instead of go one minus zero? You want on zero? Just move it to zero. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm now. There's zero. Are you happy now? Yeah. How should it change? Back to zero. We're at five again. I'm not touching now, see. Okay. It doesn't matter what the number is, it matters what it changes when you go from the other. I wondered if I should put clearance for the. I don't remember, know what cam I put in that motor. Well, you better clearance it for a big cam then if you don't know what's in it. If you get yourself 600, you should be good. So check for 600. Where's your. Uh, drop press? With my what? Just bring it down to the valve gauge, you know. Okay. I can measure them. Yeah, I know you have. What you've all got high thought. What's this right here? That's the mark we wanted that to be to stay or what? To go bye bye. Want that to go bye bye? That needs to go bye bye. Just barely on. Huh? It just has to go bye bye. I don't care about how much. How deep is that mark? 35, 035, 0, yeah, 35, right? 
Less than one.
higher the RPM, uh, the smoother the cut is, or what? Yeah. Pretty much. It looks good now. 39, you had to go 39 to get that one cleaned up? Yeah. Before we started it? Yep. Okay, we'll be back. Why?